Howdy everybody, my name is Jason Roberts. I play with the Sleep at the Wheel and we're here to do a lick of the week. And we'd like to say first thanks to our friends from Western Swing Rules for caring enough to do this. Uh, the lick I had in mind is something just real simple and uh, I've, uh, I noted uh, my friend Eddie Rivers saying earlier when we taped his steel guitar lick of the week that uh, he's a fan of the less is more school and I couldn't agree more you know you can uh, it's uh, to me more important to say more with one good note or two good notes than it is with a hundred hot notes you know so and there's a time and place for everything there's a time and place for the hot too but for the most part I, I always try to achieve a sweet sound and uh, and just minimalistic, complimentary, you know, fiddle licks. So the lick I had in mind was a uh, D lick, and I am playing a five-string fiddle today. So I know most people out there play four. Uh, so I'll just I'll try to stick within the four strings here, E A D G, and leave the C alone till later. But uh, so the lick is uh, a key of D. So. Uh, the lick I had in mind was uh, a lick from your five chord going back to the one chord, maybe a two minor five, either way will work, but say like a, an A7 back to D to your home base or a E minor, a, a major back to D. So the lick is a, and it's a double stop lick. So it'd be like an A chord going back to D. So, uh, and that's essentially an E note, a G note, a B note, and a D note. But you're playing double stops. You're playing open G below the E. So like a G chord to another G chord in the middle. And I switch fingers right there. It's still a, essentially a G chord, which is the same as an E minor seven. and resolve to the A, but it's very important that you switch fingers there so you can play the, the A chord in tune. Using the pinky and the third finger. Is essentially the fingers. And resolve to the, to the uh, back to D. And uh, rhythmically speaking, you can put this, you know, in any rhythmical form you choose, and it works, you know, over, over any five to one in the key of D. If you're swinging, you know. Now then, uh, if you have a five string, you can just add to that lick. And that's still all with the four strings. But if you got the five string, you can go and get the A chord there. Or however you want to resolve it. That's just in the key of D there, you can move over a set of strings, and if you were in the key of A, it'd be an E lick going back to A, or B minor, E, A, you know? On the lower side, it'd be in, uh, yeah, that'd, that'd be it. And that's key of D there, so going back to D. So 
so that's that. It takes a lot of practice for me to, uh, you know, maintain the, uh, the muscle strength to play those double stops like that, but it's really pretty when it works. So good luck. Y'all keep practicing. Saying, hey, don't forget, I do have a new CD that'll be coming out most likely spring 2014. Not for sure yet, but it's on the way. Thanks, Western Swing Rules. Up in, up in.